привет! Добро пожаловать! And welcome to my wonderful kitchen. I'm Ala, the host of the show. Today I want to show you how to make delicious belashi with beef. Oh my god, guys, they are so, so good. Belashi is something that I grew up on. It was sold everywhere on the streets along with kvass. And I actually have a recipe for kvass as well if you wanted to make it at home. But belashi is like basically like a really soft donutty dough stuffed with meat filling which is fried and they taste so good. They're super naughty, very very not healthy but they're so yummy and one should be enough to fill you up. Sometimes maybe two because you can be greedy. They taste so good. Um, I really really have done this video before but I wanted to do a newer version because obviously my channel has grown massively since I uploaded that one. So let me know if you want to see any other fillings for Bilashi and uh, definitely go and try this recipe because I can guarantee you everyone is gonna love it and they're gonna love you as well. And it's really not hard to make, super easy, um, you will see in a minute. Now let's get started and before we do guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's completely free and I upload new videos every single week and it makes me so happy. I really want to reach 100,000 subscribers so it would mean the world to me if you did subscribe and tell your friends and family and of course don't forget to click the notification bell. This way you will get updated every single time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. In a bowl add fast action dry yeast and then you want to add a sugar Lastly, you want to add lukewarm water, make sure it's warm, not hot, you don't want to kill the yeast. And then just mix everything together and set it aside for 10 to 15 minutes. And after that, you can see the yeast has puffed up and it's ready to go. In a stand mixer, add your eggs, then I'm adding my puffed up yeast. You need to make sure it's activated. We're going to then add a little bit of oil and mix everything with a dough hook, add your salt, and mix it for about five minutes or so until it's incorporated. Then I'm gonna add flour. We're gonna add flour a little bit at a time just to make sure it, the dough stays nice and soft. And just keep adding flour until you're finished and then the dough will start coming together and you will see it's super nice and moist. So this process can take, you know, five to 10 minutes depending on your kitchen aid and dough hook. When you take the dough out, it should be very, very nice, very, very elastic, very easy to work with. So now it's ready to prove. In a large bowl, add some oil and spread it around and then place your dough right in the middle. And you want to cover that with a damp towel and leave it to rise for a few hours. Guys and girls, you can find my recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com. All the recipes are translated into English and Russian languages. You can search for them or go and look through the pictures and click on the ones that you like. Now it's time to make our filling. Add your onions and your beef into a food processor. Then you want to add water and all your seasonings. So I'm adding some salt and pepper. And then blitz it together until the mass kind of comes together. Just a couple of minutes, so you don't want to overmix it as well. It should look like this when it's all done up and the color of the beef will change. When your dough has risen, it should look like this. And we're gonna separate the dough now. So put some flour onto your working surface and then add more flour on top and just shape the dough into sort of a long log and we want to evenly divide the dough into eight pieces because it makes eight belashi from this recipe if you want to make more then of course double the recipe so you want to cut it into eight equal pieces start from the middle and then the sides and then take each bowl and just kind of make it into a round shape and just do that with the rest of them so you should have nice and even eight pieces so we're going to start with the first piece, always keep adding flour on top of your surface on your rolling pin and on the dough to roll it out. Roll it out and then add your filling on top. It's quite a lot of filling, I would say about one to two tablespoons of the meat. And you want to start rolling it from the sides all around the meat, making sure there is a gap in the middle. So it should look just like that, very very gentle and ready. Just so you can see the process one more time, 
I'm going to show it to you again. And the reason why we leave a little hole in the middle is because when it fries, we want to make sure that the meat gets cooked throughout. So that's why. Um, so don't worry, your meat will be cooked. You don't need to use cooked meat. So into your pan, add your oil. We need a lot of oil because we're deep frying them, sort of, almost. And you want to place it the whole side down, so where the meat is showing. Place that right into a hot oil. Make sure it's really, really hot and then turn down the heat. And you want to slow cook this for seven to eight minutes, depending on your pan again in your kitchen. And then turn them around and cook them on the other side. If you cook them really fast, the meat will not cook and there will be raw inside. So it's really important to cook them on a low, low heat. After you want to drain the fat on the paper towel and leave it to cool down for a little bit before eating it or you will burn your tongue. The smell will be absolutely incredible in the house. And I hope you enjoy this, guys. It's super yummy, super soft and absolutely delicious.